Her Fan and Cake Art, and today we are going to be doing a Tuesday tidbit a little bit. I am going to be showing you how to make a cute little baby shoe. Now, you know, baby shoes are pretty popular. There are a lot of different tutorials and templates that you can use, and in fact, we're going to be using a template today for our tutorial, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So, what I thought of was doing a little baby shoe, like a classic kind of baby shoe with a strap, but have it look like a little bunny rabbit. And this is especially good because it's now March, almost April, right in time for everybody that celebrates Easter, doing like little Easter cakes, or even if it's not Easter and you just wanted to do something cute and unique on like a baby shower cake or something like that, or maybe a one-year-old's birthday cake, this would be a perfect shoe to do kind of a switch up from um, the regular like Converse sneaker style shoe which is very cute and very popular but if you want something a little more dressy a little more girly kind of cute this will be a good shoe for you okay so to get started you just want to take some white um, fondant or gum paste gum paste is better because obviously it's going to hold this shape a little better and it dries harder so if you have find it and you want to make it into gum paste, you just put a little bit of Tylos um, gum tags or whatever into your finding along with a little bit of Crisco. I, don't, I really don't measure it, although a lot of people do. You can just eyeball it, but um, you can do that or you can buy gum paste already made. So you want to take your, after you print your template, um, I will put the link down below for that. You just want to take your gum paste or find it and roll it out. Not too thin because you want it to hold its shape. When you do things too thin, they dry quicker, but they have a hard time initially holding their shape, I find at least. And especially if you're doing like a shoe um, and you want it to freestand a little bit, you need to be able to have it like stand up on its own <laughs> just a little bit and then also you know you use supports or whatever but too thin it will just flop right over to do we're not actually going to use all of these parts immediately but since I have my find it already rolled out in order to save time I'm just going to do it now you want to take a just any kind of circle cutter this is actually a flower petal cutter but I'm just using the circle part of it to cut out what will later be our bunny rabbit's face so you can cut that out and just set it to the side and then next, I am going to freehand two like bunny rabbit ears. So you just do one side, like sort of like a, a little, like almost like you're making a circle. And then come up to the other side and make another circle. And then do that again right next to the one you already did so that you can make sure it's similar in size. Okay, and then cut it a straight line to cut it out. It's hard to actually see where this ended. All right, now you can just lift this around what you cut. I find that, that it's better to lift the fondant from around as opposed to trying to lift your item out because then you can distort the item that you're trying to cut. You distort the shape by pulling it, you know, out of the, the uh, fondant that surrounds it. This is obviously you're just balling it up. So if this gets distorted, it really doesn't matter. The other thing that you can do with this while you have it out is just take a little piece off and like make it into a ball. 
because this is going to act as the bunny rabbit's tail for the shoe. So just do your little ball. Doesn't really matter what it looks like. You can make it a little bit lumpy, just kind of like a furry, fuzzy little tail. Sit that to the side. Make sure that your face is smooth around the edges. If you want to get some of that excess off, just you can actually even just push it again with your cutter. And then you're going to take that. I like to make it a little bit more, not as round. I want it to be a little bit more oval shaped. So I just take my rolling pin and roll it out a little bit and then form it into that kind of an oval shape for the rabbit's face. Okay, so set that, your tail, and then take your ears, and we're just going to do a little stitching around the ear. And if you want, you can grab like some paper towel or some plastic wrap because you want your ears to have a little bit of a bend to them. So if it would help to keep the shape, you can put it on some plastic wrap. But basically you want to just take your ear and it's going to sit like on the top of the shoe. So you just want to take it and give it a little bit of a bend while it's drying. I'm just going to set mine here on top of the tail to let it hold its shape a little bit. Next move is to take your pieces that you cut out, make sure there are no weird jagged edges. If there are, you can smooth with your finger or for like here, just cut it off. And then take your, all right, the way that this is gonna sit is like this, going around. So we wanna stitch all around our thing here, okay? So just starting here and going around the entire parameter of the top part of the shoe. And this is just a stitching wheel, the other side of a Dresden tool, basically. You guys know about this, I'm sure. If you don't, you better get you some. These are amazing. Okay, smooth out my edges. Now, I am using piping gel in order to stick this to the base of my shoe. And then also, I want to just do... I'm going to cut that a little. But this may or may not show up, but just in case it does, I am going to stitch around the base of the shoe, the sole of the shoe. Sometimes it gets covered by the top piece but sometimes it doesn't so I think it's kind of cute if it if it does end up showing up okay here it okay so there is something when you put this um when you put this template on it looks kind of like not really totally like a shoe. Now we want it to look more like a shoe than what it would end up looking like if you were just to stick this on here. So the thing is, templates are fantastic. This is actually going to go this way. Templates are fantastic. They really help you to like get, you know, a proper shape, especially for shoes. It's kind of hard to make a shoe without a template, but you can see, okay, when you put this together, this just looks kind of like, I don't know, I just don't like it for the like look of a shoe. So <laughs> you want to, <laughs> they're like people outside playing in the snow waving at me. People meaning my partner and my daughter. Anyway, so <laughs> what you want to do is that you want to put something in here to give it like more of a rounded toe shape. Okay, so you really want to just like put your personal touch on this. So I am going to show you how I do that. 
um, and then also using some paper towel to stick in there to give the toe a little bit more of uh, support to be rounded out until it dries. All right, so we have that and then we have our um, piping gel, which we're going to use to stick everything on. So I'm just going to put a little piping gel down onto our shoe. pretty good so now we can move on to our next step you just want to set this aside let it dry so the idea that I had for making this into like a fuzzy kind of funny bunny shoe to make it almost look like um like a you know bunny hair I was going to do it to the entire shoe but I decided I don't want to do the entire shoe this way but I do want to do it to um, part of the bunny's face to make it look more like a rabbit okay so what we're gonna do is use coconut flakes which are really really awesome for that you just take a little of your piping gel spread it on the face piece and then take your shaved coconut and you can buy it just this way in the grocery store shredded coconut take your shredded coconut and not the big don't get like the big piece of shredded coconut this is really like fine grain shredded coconut so just make sure you're getting the one that's fine grain because I've seen them where they're like Parmesan cheese shavings you don't want that and dip it lightly into the coconut and then when you take it out, it will look like such, which is so cute, I think, because it definitely looks like if this were a real baby shoe and it had some kind of like mohair, or not mohair, but you know what I'm talking about, some kind of like fuzzy bunny material. So cute. And then it's just going to go on your shoe. And once you put it on your shoe, it'll be right here like this, like a little faceplate. And we want to do the same thing want to do the same thing to your tail so whatever piece of your tail is going to be showing i guess probably this back part and just cover it in piping gel or whatever and dip it into the coconut spread it along put the coconut on top get it really saturated and then you can just kind of tap it off a little bit and then you have your little tail there same thing with your ears except for the ears we're gonna only do the outside with piping gel because we're gonna put a little pink like a little pink piece to make it inside of the bunny's ear and you don't want it to be having a hard time sticking to your fondant sticking to the outside of the ear because the coconut is underneath so try not to get it right in the middle although if you do it's not a huge deal but just fyi i got it everywhere anyway so <laughs> that's fantastic i tell you not to do something and then i turn around and do the exact thing i told you not to do just like a human. It's 
So whatever now, it's okay, I'm just gonna roll with it. So this one I'm going to actually purposely get the coconut everywhere since I, the other one looks that way. All right, that's good. So now you can see how cute and awesome that looks like. I was so, so um, pleased with myself when I figured that out because I'm like, oh my gosh, I was thinking of what I could use and thinking of all these different things. And I was like, oh my God, coconuts, the like coconuts that's been sitting in my freezer for a year now that I have nothing to use it for because no one in my house likes coconut. I was like, hey, can use it for my bunny shoe. I am. Next thing that we're going to do is take the, so we have some pink um, gum paste here. I want to make two little bows that I want to put on to, like, so when you put the bunny ears onto the shoe, then in front of the ears, I want to make it look like the bunny's wearing these two little bows. So we're going to use some pink fondant, one for the inside of the ear, like we talked about. The other reason why we're going to use it is for the bows. I find it's kind of tough, but I'm just going to, so that I don't have to microwave it right now, I'm going to try to use a piece of the inside because the outside's kind of hard. That should be good. So just take your pink fondant. You can just take, you don't obviously have to buy pink fondant. You can take a little bit of white and um, dye it with a little teensy tiny bit of pink. Any kind of pink is fine. Just make sure that you don't put too much of the pink in there because it'll make it too dark of a pink. And then roll it out. You want to cut this for the ear, for the inside of the rabbit ear. You want to cut it the same way that you did the actual ear. So just, you know, if you need to put your ears over here for a frame of reference, then just put them down and try to eyeball it to make sure that you get it relatively the same size, but just a little bit smaller because you want it to sit inside of the, of the white part. So, you could cut it a little bigger than you might think you need it, and actually you could just cut it down if it doesn't fit. And since we covered up our stitching on the white part, I'm going to do a little bit of stitching on this pink part. Okay, and then just shape it up a little bit, give it some movement, and then take your piping gel. And stick that puppy in there. Make sure that it flows with the movement of the ear that you have going on. And then I'm going to just pinch the bottom to come down a little. Alright, that should be good. And do that again. Remember, it's almost like you're making a circle. stick it on.
we get to assemble everything and see how it looks all together. So I have a shoe that I already did that I dried. Um, and then our little pieces here, our ears. I got a little piece of black um, fondant because we want to put little bitty eyes onto the bunny. And then you're still going to need your stitching tool and either water or some kind of a glue to stick everything together. functioning baby shoe is to take a little piece of white fondant and then I just have gold highlighter and a little bit of oil and I'm going to kind of just freehand this so I take a little piece of round fondant even littler than this maybe you can also use a cutter if you need to but essentially you just want to kind of press it in with your hand and maybe round the edges out a bit and then put some glue on it and stick it to the side of your strap to make like a little button. Uh oh, careful. And then push that down a little bit. Okay, and then I am going to grab a little bit of, actually, have some in here already but just grab a little bit of this which is an edible pearl dust and just kind of dust it around my shoe before I paint the gold on there and that just gives it a nice little shimmer to everything especially like here on the bows Right. 
Now take your highlighter. You can also use silver. You can use black paint. You can just leave this as is if you want. But I like gold for a little pop of color. A pop of shine, rather. And just paint it around. Okay, my friends, that is it. We are all done. This has been Sierra Taylor for Creative Care Guard. Again, this was your Tuesday tidbit a little bit. Please join us next week for another Tuesday tidbit.